Are you all ready to start your school today? So we'll, um, these words you can repeat after me. Even as we gather to learn, Lord, we ask for you to bless. Help us all to be the salt and light to those around. As we come together in love, to find your purpose in our lives, lead us all to come and discern and fit into your plan. So it's like a prayer song. Okay. So we ask you, Lord, to bless this time. Even as we gather to learn, Father God, we pray for all the children. That you bless them, help them to be salt and light in this world, Father, and fit into your plan. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. So we'll sing this song. Even as we gather to learn, Lord, we ask for you to bless. Help us all to be the salt and light to those around. Even as we gather to learn, Lord, we ask for you to bless. Help us all to be the salt and light to those around. As we come together in love to find your purpose in our lives. That's a good lesson you learned. Now you listen to this story. You may have listened before also. But it's a good lesson about your homework. So how it's encouraging every one of us, every one of you to do your homework faithfully. And what you can Tofu, can you calculate this? Mm, no. I don't get it. Tofu, this is such a simple calculation. I did not expect this from you. Are you not practicing numbers at home? I want to see all your homework tomorrow. My, uh, homework? Uh, okay teacher. What happened Tofu? You look upset. My teacher scolded me because I was not able to do a simple maths calculation. Oh Tofu, this is because you're not practicing what you're taught at school every day. That is why we're given homework. Practice makes a man perfect. Mm, can you tell me a story about it so I can understand better Tia? Yes Tofu, I will tell you a story. Homework is important. Once upon a time, there lived two squirrels on a tree named Cass and Dex. Their mother taught them every day how to crawl down a tall tree. Cass climbed down the tree every day for practice, while Dex lied on the branch and ate nuts all the time. One day, an eagle tried to attack them. 
Cass ran down the tree, but Dex couldn't. He directly jumped down in fear and injured himself badly. Thereafter, Dex learned his lesson and started practicing how to crawl down a tree every day. He became perfect at it and one day, when the eagle tried to attack them, he swiftly crawled down and protected himself. The eagle flew away in anger as he could not catch Dex this time. Dex must be hurt so badly. Dear, this means practice makes a man perfect. That's right, Tofu. Whoa, dear! How did you calculate it so fast? It's all about practice, Tofu. Always completing your homework will give you enough practice. Once you're good at calculating, you can make these bills instead of me. Yay! I will calculate the bills too. Tia, I'm ready to calculate the bills now. That's great, Tofu. Now it's your duty to calculate these bills, my big boy. Yippee! For your favorite rhymes. Okay, so you see how it's important to do your homework every day. Then you become a perfect, a perfect student. Okay, so uh, I hope you all did your homework for today and every every day in school also you have to do your homework every day. Okay, so I, I pray Father God once again for all the children that they will be excellent in their work, excellent in their studies. And today help them to understand the classes. We thank you Lord in Jesus name we pray. Amen. So I will give this to Premini auntie. Good afternoon, children. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, children. Yes, yes. I can hear you, Supreme. Wonderful. Welcome, uh, one and all. Um, thank you for coming and joining us. As we go into our classes today, I hope you enjoyed last week with our children's uh, celebration. It was wonderful as you participated in your programs, in your dances, and miming, your singing your skits. Thank you so much for participating on that. How many of you enjoyed last week? Let's have a raise of hand if you did enjoy. How many of you participated? Wonderful. Thank you for being a part of it. And I ask that if you are in a club, please uh, turn on your videos if you can as the class goes on. Uh, as we um, prepare for the classes, uh, Children's Day, thank you very much. I will say that in the Klama, Ninga Paklasiko Poha Kumuda, Lipa reading class to Rangapodu, Ungoda group like Ungoda renaming La Poi, Ungoda group in a pairum, pastor in a pairum, Ungoda club in a pairum, pastor in a pairum, Poda Marakango, a parentum Shamadu, monitors and a pastor, I will say the other would not change. And then that other angle easy are come our breakaway rooms to carry it. So if parents don't miss that, they will say the announcements go down to KK. They will say that our computer la, our club and a pair, or a pastor and a pair. You know, that is a joint like the group club and a pair, or a pair. Group are you coming? Or a pass group and a pair, or a pastor and a pair. Club and a pair, mudal so that angle can identify and know the reason. Which is that. I will say the monitors, pastors, or random shamata al chaingo. Ethina pair, Aitha Marking a class at the Negi, writing, grammar Nadakum, Adukuprahanga reading class Nadakum, Adukuprah breakaway, a spoken English class. So be prepared. Ella classes come chairatu, worksheets at the Vaingo, audio, Pilela group pandungo monitors, so that I could maximize pun in the mara. Ella Pilela Ninga, one the Kadeka Palahon among the Kadasi, Noka Mandu in the classic Lala, Langa Ulida, Vasika, Ucharika, and Kadasila Vasika Palahon, Kadeka Palahon, Minna Ninga, English La Kadeping. And so uh, once again, welcome everyone. As we go into our classes, be prepared with your notebooks and your worksheets. 
and coming together as we just studied how important it is to do our homeworks. Please do your homeworks and upload. Monitors, we thank you very much for your hard work. Thank you, pastors, for joining us today. And if there's any questions, Okay. Uh, non screen lenako canapeta visual teriela screen all on panungo. Pastors, if you're there, please on the screens. Mentors, if you are already there in place, thank you very much. Please put mentor yours. Rename Panavandia in Randanam Shandan. Rename Panavandia. Okay. The other thing that has come up, monitors and pastors, I'm going to cover the final exam results have been posted. Palea attendance sheet a detail map poning and I'll a mudal sheet one the exam final results. No way pair part thing eight can we chiller one the other fill panna mirkling fill panna mirkle one thing and the paper submit panna padilla chiller and that teleper say yamuriama pona the cardinal shirtle. Unga and results along a chiller and a group la chiller and even spoken English are like carnale. Ningle submit Pani Ninga, the one they eat away, one did the under Nanga port to make them. So Ilam, a girl take a paper work alum, Nanga submit Panitam. Type say the part of the Kurgil and the Tarasanga Kuprungo. Once again, please put your club name and then the pastor's name so that we'll be able to go into our breakaway. Yarka Kurgil, no random shamil. I'm just seeing blank screens here. Wonderful. 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 Very good. Thank you so much, guys, for raising your hands. Uh, homework is not a time. So, if uh, you have a time, you class attend class. Attendance I'll mark panel. At the Kilama classes follow panel one that time exam sit panlam. So once again, exam sit panel. Pata the Kilame exam sit panel. At the Kilame other ning a classic one the homework one the admit panel. So t uh, monitors um, make aware monitors are the time say the mark panam rakarango attendance mark panel. They can a tudagiach the Google Sheet uh, attendance one the open panitam. So next week we will be checking. Anjikalama Mudieka Nanga, you need to have that uh, put in. Arthur uh, Prapata the Kalama, we'll have a review and an exam. So, children, as we go into our classes, uh, Miss Shalomi, are you there? there. Sangha, yes, can you put you. that page up for a second? If you can put that. Uh, can you share screen or do you want me to share screen? Okay. I will say or Nomisha Madam Variango, Miss Shalomi will be coming in for class. Hi, um, I need permission to share the screen, I think. Thank you, Ms. Shalomi. Over to you. Give me a minute. Sure. Okay, now I'm good. Thank you. Uh, Sister Premini, make Shalomi co-host also. You are the host now.
Sister Premni, can you make Shalomi co-host? Okay, let me do this. I'm going to reclaim host for a minute. And make you co-host. Okay, Shalomi, you're co-host now. Okay, thank you. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so, yes, today, uh, before we go into our lesson today, so most of you had sent in your homework with uh, the conjunctions was what we did last time. So thank you for that. And uh, I think most of you have got the hang of it, right? So uh, we use conjunctions. Conjunctions, uh, then last week, I was learning a homework, so we looked at how we use and, or, and but. Uh, so keep using, um, you know, keep keep practicing, keep writing more sentences on that. But most of you have got it uh, right. So thanks for that. Mm -hmm. And good job. Yeah. Um, okay. Today we are going to look at prepositions. Okay. So now we are going to writing prepositions. So today we are going to do so preposition in the soldier the one to we we so prepositions show uh, or state where is someone or something. Okay, so nanga prepositions are used pan rather either the or nabar a lather the other or saman are clam other than the engir to the uh and the card rather than nanga prepositions use pan rather. Okay, so to show where is someone or something. So, for example, if you have a book, a letter, a letter, a pen, a food, a letter, 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 these are the prepositions that we usually use every day in at on below okay and if you look at the sentences you can see how we use prepositions in our writing okay so when we write sentences when we write essays and paragraphs we use sentence these prepositions to show where something is okay so the first one a beautiful book was on the table okay so in the on and the word one in the book anga irukku the table ku kileya table ku meleya table ku pakkathileya table la irundhu thoorathile irukuda and and the and the book table order compare panneka anga irukku and kaatrathukku is where we use on so according to this the beautiful book was on the table the next one the little girl played happily inside the house okay so the question is, where was the girl playing, right? In the little girl, right? So and the, to answer that question of where the girl was, we say she was inside the house. Did you have a good time at the party? Okay, so did you have a good time? Did you have fun? But you want to know where? So then we have used the preposition at. Okay, and then finally, oh no, I live far from here. Okay, so you can live near or far, but uh, here we have used the word far again to show where you live. Okay, so remember prepositions, apananga prepositions, English sentences, essays, prepositions, prepositions, Nanga prepositions Okay, so here are a few examples of some of various prepositions right on top. I have used some of them in these sentences as well. So what you are going to do is fill in these blanks. Okay. These few sentences, these eight or nine sentences, you are going to fill in the blank with the correct preposition. Sariyana preposition of portraying in the sentences a complete panna pouring. Apaidila nan maila kurutrikra in the examples and use panlam, other will have the examples terinja, other in pariklam. And five minutes taran in the blanks, sir, in a fill panit, fill panimulchapurang, hand raise panna, 
I will call out your names and then you can share your answers. Okay. So let's take five minutes to complete these sentences with the correct preposition. Thank 
Please. Okay, you can um, let's read out your answers. So we'll start with uh, who shall we start with? Let's start with uh, Talavatan English Club. Can you tell me the answer for the first one? Okay. I was sitting in the chair. The dog was okay. Running. Okay, just the first one. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. So I'm going to just write your answers for now and then we will discuss whether it's um, correct or wrong. Okay, right. Uh, then the second one, let's go to Mariah English Club. What's the answer for this, the second question? The dog was running around the house. Around. Okay, thank you. Um, next. Let's uh, Bakamuna. C C Bakamuna. Can you tell your an uh, read out your answer? The book is on the table. The book is on the table. Okay. Thank you. Good. Um. Next, Maskele English Club. Okay. The house is near the well. Near the well? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, then Patana English Club, Patana AOG English Club for this one. I don't know. I don't know what is happening around us around us okay thank you um next let's look at maybe maybe batty english club for this one the boy was jumping over the fence over the fence okay good thank you um who else who else Okay, Upcott. Upcott English Club. This one. Okay, Upcott has disappeared. So, Sherry. The city is near to sea level. All right, okay, okay. Near to. Near two, so two words, okay. Um, then Sheresh, can you give me the last one? Who is seated, this one? Who, who is seated? Do you want to try again? I think there was an echo. What is the answer for this? Who is seated near to you? Yeah. Okay, right. Um, okay, thank you. So now uh, let's just go through the answers again. Okay. So I was sitting more the better, uh, the better or the correct answer here would be I was sitting on the chair. Okay. So Remember, if you are sitting, you're usually sitting on something. So I was sitting on the chair, I was sitting on the bench. Okay, I was sitting on the floor. So when we talk about sitting, we usually use the preposition on. Okay, so write that down. Then the dog was running around the house. Okay, that's good. That's correct. Oh, the book no, is on no. the table. Uh, the house is near the well. Yes, okay, you can even say in front of or behind or anything like that. I don't know what is happening around us. Okay, that's correct, good. The boy was jumping over the fence. The city is near to sea level. Is um, So when we talk about sea level, okay, we usually either say whether it's above, right? Uh, if it is, it can be above or below, I guess. But usually, we would say you. We won't say near. If it is near the sea, that's a different thing. Or near the beach, it's different. 
here when you see the word sea level, a better answer here would have been the city is above sea level or at sea level, if it is at the same level or above sea level. Who is seated near to you is um, than this. Who is seated next to you is better. Okay. So, um, sorry, two is already there. So next, then saying near to you, uh, who is seated next to you sounds better. And that, that is the correct answer. So just uh, correct those on your, in your books, in your notes. Uh, make sure that uh, but most of you have got it right so good job um, so yeah so you can do more I'll give you the homework to do at home so just remember to uh, make sure that the preposition that you use agrees with the rest of the sentence okay preposition and the full sentence okay so that is prepositions, okay? So that was a lesson on prepositions. Before we finish today, I'm also going to talk to you a little about personal pronouns, okay? So the personal pronoun is what we use instead of a noun, okay? So I think it was in our first or second lesson, nouns, right? It's a name of a thing, a place, a person, right, is what is a noun. A personal pronoun is what we use instead of a noun. Okay, so nouns are like dog, boy, cake, book, right? All of these things are nouns. And the nouns are padila. Other nouns are pavikama, other padila pavikrada than personal pronoun. Okay, so the personal pronoun is also just like a noun. It talks about people or things, but you use it instead of a noun. So if you look at the two examples, John is a good boy, then without repeating. John is a good boy. John is very helpful. We say John is a good boy. He is very helpful. Okay. My family and I went to the beach. Instead of repeating it and saying, my family and I went to the beach, my family and I had fun, you can say, my family and I went to the beach, we had fun. Okay? So instead of whatever the noun, when you are repeating the same noun, you can use a pronoun, the personal pronoun instead. Upon the noun, the noun, uh, repeat Mary or John or book or cake or cat or dog, whatever it is, okay, you the first time you can repeat it. 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 Okay, so you have to know when to use it, right? So he, if it is a male, she, if it is a female, it, if it is a thing. We nang use pandana on the made patakla badikarekika. So my friends and I, me and my family, uh, my my team and I, right? So on the made patakla bati nanga karakeka, we we use we or if it is uh, if it is in the first person, we can use they or them, okay, or even us. So you know they were going to the beach. My friend, my uh, my sister and her friends were going to the beach. They had a lot of fun, right? So these are the different personal pronouns that we use, okay, instead of the nouns. So now we are going to try to fill in these blanks using the correct personal pronoun, okay? So again, I will give you five minutes to uh, fill in the blanks. And then you can read out your answer. Let me see if I can get it all in one screen. Right, okay. Now fill in the blanks with the correct personal pronoun and put your hands up once you are done and I will call out your name.
Okay, let's um, look at the answers. Um, who shall we start with? Reverend Sandanam Puliyavatta. What is the first one? Mary is the nice. She is very kind. Very good. Thank you. She is very kind. Okay. Um, <clears throat> next, let's go to who has an answer? Diagama English Club. What's the answer to the second one? My brother went to school today. He learned a lot in school. Okay, very good. Thank you. Then, um, Labukala English Club. My friend's name is Dora. I went to the par park with her. With her. Okay, very good. Um, Hamshika. Did you buy a gift for your brother? What did you buy for you? Okay. Now, uh, here, look, we have underlined the word your brother. Okay. Yes. So, we are not talking about what you bought for yourself. What did you buy for your brother? So, then what is the correct um, pronoun to use instead of your brother? Does anyone else want to give it a try? Let's see who has your hand up. Okay, there's some group called admin. I'm not sure which English club. Whoever has named yourself as admin. Can you unmute? What did you buy for us? Okay, no. Um, no, that's not the answer either. Because remember, you are buying something for... Now I am asking you, did you buy a gift for your brother? So it is your brother that we are talking about. So what is the pronoun that you can use to refer to your brother? Who wants to? Okay, Nano English Club, why don't you give it a try? Fourth one. Uh -uh. Yes, Nano English Club, what's the answer? Did you buy a gift? Your brother, what did you buy for him? Him. Okay, good. Okay, so we use him because we are referring to your brother. Okay, so then the personal pronoun has to be a male personal pronoun. That is why we have said him. Okay, then YFC Mule, can you answer the fifth one? Hit. Okay, right. My dog is very play playful. It loves to play with me. Okay, good. Um, okay, Mariah English Club, the last one. I saw a lion in the zoo. I saw a lion in the zoo. It was very really hungry. It was very hungry. Okay, great. So good job. Okay, so that is how you use personal pronouns. Okay, so today we learned two things. We learned about prepositions and we learned about personal pronouns. So your homework, okay, which I have sent to you as well. Uh, let me just show you the homework. So what's that?
Okay, so this is your homework. You are going to fill in the blanks with the correct pronouns first. Okay, that is the first set of first part of your homework. And then the second part of your homework is you are going to fill it in with the correct preposition. Okay, so you have 20 sentences altogether. The first 10, you are going to fill it with the correct um, pronoun and the next 10 with the correct preposition. So when you write your answers, write the entire sentence and then underline the answer. Okay, so thank you and I will see you next week and don't forget your homework. Bye everyone. Can I start the um, grammar class? No, it's uncle here. Okay, I'm going to start the grammar class. Morning and afternoon to everyone. So this week we are looking at main and helping verbs. So helping helping verbs, it's going to be new for you guys. But verbs, we cover the term of the verbs. So verb is an action word for those that are, that are new. Verb is an action word. And a helping verb is a word that helps the verb. So the sentence lavanda or a verb verum and the verb the mudal lavanda or a helping verb non lavarum so that helps to understand what the verb is. So the Lingapathing Alanda uh you have a definition given here, a helping verb verb such as so there are then examples of helping verbs. So in the words Lavanda to help a verb in a sentence. So works with the main verb to show when the action or state of being occurs. So if you look at the first question, first of all, identify where the verb is. So in the sentence, Lavanda, where is the action happening? So I am studying the amazing life of Wilma Rudolph. So where is the action happening? So first of all, identify the verb. So the one the studying. Studying is the action. I am studying. So non parichigundrakran. Studying is the action, which is the verb. And then it's a helping verb on the am. I am studying. So the word am is the helping verb in the sentence. So the word am is helping the verb, which is um, studying. Did you all understand the first question? 
understanding what the helping verb was. Did you all understand? No response. El algún que la marca de crema. Yes, madam. Okay, did you understand then? So I'm not getting response from anyone. Yes, madam. Okay. Right, so the second one. My class will write reports about the school, about the sport, sports legend. So first of all, identify where the verb is. So who can tell me where the verb in this sentence is? And then we will work on finding out where the um, helping verb is. So who would like to have a go for the first question? Sorry, the second question. Who would like to answer the second question? Okay, I'm not the host, so I don't have access to unmute you guys. Um, so I'll just call your name and if you can unmute your audio. Rev Sardanum, Sardanum. Right. I will write. Good. Okay, Norwood said will is the helping verb, so that is correct. Did you all understand the second question? Betty, you see? Um, are you reading out the answer to the third question? Have. Okay, have. Okay, what is the verb? First of all, in number three, where is the verb? Can I have um hello for number three? Which one? Number three. Which one is? Question three. First of all, tell me where the verb is. Which one? Which one means? Number three. three. We have. We have read and read and extend account for here. Trumpet. We have read 
So read, uh, read in the ning solemn past tense, uh, we have read an exciting account of our triumph. So the, where is the um, verb? Red. The, sorry? Red. Red, good. We have read. So ning a vast chirking, that is the action. I ha We have read. And where is the um, helping verb? Sorry, I need to underline that. Help. Good. Well done. Exciting will be an adjective. It is actually an, a, a describing word. Exciting is a describing word. You're describing the book that you read. So it wouldn't be exciting. It read, um, sorry, read is the action word, which is your verb. And have is the helping verb. Right, moving on to number four. I'm not having that many students volunteering um it's just not good can i have more students raising their hands up to answer questions please is fendi number four of us is painting okay either um is one the verb or helping verb or? is 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 your helping verb and your verb is painting good well done can can go there not again Question five. Can I have another group? Maria EC. Matthew and I are working on a poster about Wilma's victories. Okay. Where yeah. is where is the verb? Working. Good. And the helping verb. Helping verb. Ah. Uh. Good. Well done. Okay, first of all, number six, if we move from the mother, identifying and helping verb and how to identify verb. Are you all understanding? And I can repair then, um, Kayo, the answer of any country king, a Michelarum, uh, participate in ring a la. So I don't know what is happening, whether you're understanding or whether you're just not bothered to participate. If our questions answer pretty not then in a kumbalangum whether you're whether you're understanding what's happening in the class. So I want to see more hands raised up, not just the same class that keeps raising their hands up and answering questions. Patna Yoji Patna Yoji EC. Um, new Panda Muria, Enoch. Wilma yes, had yes. overcome physical problems. Had helping work. 
had is the helping verb. Good. And what did you say the verb was? What did you say the verb was for question six? Wilma had overcome from serious physical problems. Okay, so had one the um, helping verb. Helping. Sort of Where is the verb? Overcome is Good. Overcome. overcome. Well done. Right, let's see. Number seven. Changalari. Unmute Panango. Changalari. One singular one. Another one. Yes. Simpson man. Yes, we believe. Yes. Now, I love Huh? Oh, hey, love. Had given. Had given. Had given. So, which is uh, the had one the verb or the helping verb? Helping verb. Okay, and the verb is? Given verb. Good, well done. Question eight. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. N-A-N-L-T-O-D-A-N-G-U-D-U. Yeah, 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 N-A-N-L-T-O-D-A-N-G-U-D-U.
sometimes you you may be able to use the same word twice so it will in the box you can use the word so you can use twice up how we can then the curl will look good um but the technique you need to use is if you're not sure whether um is the answer for the first one amma vanda and the gap you can fill for need to read the sentence fully and then you will understand whether it makes sense or not இப்போ நீங்கள் பிழையான வேர்டை பாவிச்சிங்களா நீங்கள் அந்த சென்டென்ஸை வாசி கேட்க வந்து உங்களுக்கே தெரியும் அது பிழையாக இருக்குதுண்டு சென்டென்ஸ் சரியாக இல்லைன்னு உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் ஸோ தேட் இஸ் அ டெக்னிக் யூ நீட் டு யூஸ் வென் யூர் செக்கிங் வெதர் யூ ஹவ் டன் இட் கரெக்ட்லி ஸோ ஐம் கோயிங் டு டைம் யூ காய்ஸ் ஸோ கொஞ்சம் டைம் தர போகிறோம் உங்களுக்கு இந்த அஞ்சு கருவியை மான்சர் பண்ணுறதுக்கு டைம் முடிஞ்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் ஐ வில் பி சூசிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் டு ஷேர் தேர் ஆன்சர்ஸ் So I'm going to give you two minutes to time, Tharan. Anjikar really answer pandra the ke. Time mudin jada kapparam, I will select students. Okay, your time starts now. So Anjikar really answer pandra no. Right, time is up. So let's go through the answers. So first question, LBC, EC. I am reading a book about Wilma Wilford's determination. Good, well done. In the sentence below, where is the verb? reading second question um urutirapuram velima is practicing exercise for her leg is practicing it and the verb is practice practicing so well done question 3 can i have i see someone that I've not answered new ag beth bethel number 3 Vimala is practicing exercise for her leg. Uh, question 3. Question 3. She and her mother is is tra- traveling to a nearest hospital. 
Ella is Varadu. Have another go. She and her ah. Ah. are traveling. Good. To the nearest hospital. Where is the um, verb in this sentence? Traveling. Traveling. Good. Well done. And then question four. S-E-C. S-E-C. In spite of the difficult, Wilma will fight, fight back. In the word one, it's difficulties. Okay. Where is the verb in this sentence? Why? Sorry? Fight. Fight. Good. Well done. And then the last one. And I have um, rev. Uh, oh, there's two revs. W-O-G. I am rooting for Wilma to success. Good. Well done. And the verb is? Verb is rooting. Well done. Right. How many of you guys in the five questions in Sari answer for Nidhi King? Good. Only five. Okay, six. Got seven, nine, eleven. Okay, good. Well done, guys. Okay, let me just quickly explain what you need to do for homework. So you have more questions here, more main and helping verbs to complete off for homework. And then on this page, you have to decide over the questions, the moon options than the Rikinam. The moon only one will be right. And you need to decide which one of these options is suitable to complete the sentences. So just like what we just did now when you guys were timed. And then you have the answers here to then mark your work once you have finished. After this, um, I've also attached an additional two more papers for homework which is also related to main and helping verbs so also finish that off finish that papers off as well um so yeah so next week we'll be looking at homophones so that is the topic for next lesson homophones mm -hmm. i have um i will post the papers tonight so that you can have a look at what the papers are and maybe prepare um prepare for next session right i will let you guys go and i will see you back for the speaking session bye guys
நீங்க <laughs> 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 Okay. Okay, good afternoon everybody. Can you hear me? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yeah, yes, okay, ma'am. all right. All right, so good. Um pona kalama ungalku digraphs cheyidanan. Um naal digraphs cheyidanan. Digraph anda two letters combined together to make one sound. Um um இந்த முறை செய்ய போறது போன முறை செய்தது நீங்க ஹோம் ஒர்க் எல்லாம் அனுப்பி இருந்த நீங்கள் நெல்லா இருந்தது அதையும் செய்து இன்னும் இதையும் கம்ப்ளீ நான் தர்ற அந்த லெசன் லெசன் ஒன்னே இருக்கா இந்த டைக்ராஃப்ஸ் ஒன்னே இருக்கா இன்னொரு கத்திருப்பி பார்த்துட்டு டைக்ராஃப்ஸ் டூவை நீங்க செய்யலாம் இன்றைக்கு நான் செய்ய போறது டைக்ராஃப்ஸ் டூ ஐம் கோயிங் டு டூ த சவுண்ட் ஏ அண்ட் ஆர் O and R, O, E and R, A, N and G, ING. So, A, O, A, ING. So, digraphs again is two letters combined together to make one sound. Now, we have blends that we have to use the same thing. இதுல இது ரெண்டும் சேர்ந்து ஒரு சத்தத்தை உண்டாக்கும் ஆ ஓ ஏன் லுக் அட் தேர்ட்ஸ் தட் ஹவ் காட் தி ஆ சவுண்ட் தி ஓ சவுண்ட் தி அ சவுண்ட் தி இங் சவுண்ட் கா ஆட் scarf o snort corn storm fort a is her fern herd term hang ing is hang long swing stun yaar marthuk vaasikka virupama in the first line in the words yes sir yes 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 teacher yes teacher yeah you can put yeah yeah okay maraya club christopher ayaka ha Yes, start again, please. Ka. Ka, ka, ska, ska. O. Snow, corn, storm, cold. Yeah. A. Ka, 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 ta. Ing. Hang, long, swing, stug. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. I can't scroll. I can't go down um, Tanga. No. I'm having difficulty going down. Tanga, you can start with the other one. Okay. Now, you can... முழுதா போயிட்டு
Rhyming words. Start. Rhyming words and one sound is done. Same sounding, same ending sound. That is one sound. One sound is done. Start. Smart. Coke. Four. Letter. Better. Sing. Spring. Start, smart, cork, fork, letter, better, sing, spring. And the next one is farm, harm. In game, in game, arm, in game, arm. And mudidu. Sort, sport. In the oat and mudidu. In game, oat and mudidu. Mutter, butter. In the t. And t and mudidi in game t and mudidi. Song strong in the ong and mudidi in game ong and mudidi. I'll read that one more time. Farm harm. Sort sport. Mutter butter. Song strong. Mutter and a munumunukradu. Okay. I can somebody can you can I get someone to read please the rhyming words? English clubs. Can you read? Yeah, you can start. You can start. Start. Yeah. Start hot. Start smart. Coat fork. Letter better. Sing. 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 Okay. okay. Go to the uh, yeah yeah. Take it down. Now, now um, adatta adatta idu vandu syllable word. Syllable landa angol ke enna ande teriyum. Syllable landa oru oru vowel sound irka vandu. Oru oru part of the word la oru vowel sound irunda. Uh, that is a syllable. Ipa ida paathinga na. In the syllable words of parting and an unrend color la water grand. If I in the syllable or color la water grand, in the in the part of the syllable or a color la water grand. Idilla parting and the vowel sound is a idilla a. So this is ka pet. So together it reads ka pet. So you can read it separately. Pramba vasi ki bodu muluga muluga chulla 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 Ka pet. Idila paating anda. Oru vowel sound is a. Meta vowel sound is o. So this is a o. This part of the word is x, and this part of the word is port. So it is export. A export and I eat madi, eat madi say rather. The in the word of parting and da, idle black ala irkratuke, the vowel sound is a brown ala irkratuke, the vowel sound is a. Vowel sound can be two words together making one sound. So this is a and this is a. So this is this. 
dessert. So together it makes dessert. Dessert and chopped up chopped rice cream madri chamangal. In the word of parting and I will have black layer uh, part of the word. I or vowel sound. Brown layer cover, uh, brown layer cover part. I, I or vowel sound. So this will be swim and this will be ming. So together it makes swimming. The next one is. Black layer crop particle A, brown layer crop particle E. So it is ga lick. The next one is black layer crop particle vowel sound is E, brown layer crop particle the vowel sound is O. So in form. This is black layer part. The vowel sound is E. And brown layer part. The vowel sound is E. Expert. This is black layer part. The vowel sound is O. And brown layer part. The vowel sound is E. So it is longer. I'll read that one more time together. Two syllable words carpet, export, desert, swimming, garlic, inform, expert, long. So I'd like um, somebody to read to who, has, who hasn't had a chance of reading. Somebody new can come up, uh, put your hands up. Kaya Yatunga, Mudalon Chulla, the Vieram Yarak Virpon Sanjana. Oh, God. something else coming. Sanjana. So, a boy to the, the thing has gone off. Tanga. No worry, no. Tanga. Yes, Miss Poet. Poet is very no one that is it. Oh, I oh, see. Don't let it come. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Um, Ipea Masikanda, a conjum yatering la mela conjum. Okay, so, right, that's enough. Um, Sanjana Vasikringla Sanjana Betty English Club. Sanjana? Raven Sandanam. Okay, Vasik Ringla? Yes, madam. Okay. What is this word? Carpet. Sorry? Carp Carpet. Carpet. Carpet, yes. Export. Good. Desert. Good. Garlic. Um, in yale in form. Yeah, yeah. Expert swimming yeah. longer. If I eat them, look at that. What if I belong to the end of my other yeah. pitch of Asik of Anna Manda? Belong to the madam. Belong to that. Okay, all right, okay. In a curl, we cut a pouring la there and dalam in the left. This is the word that we have to say in the syllable words. This 
Ganga. Mandi. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Ilea, Ilea, okay, I will, I will continue. In a cooper, the Miss Arim Ilarim, Iladan curtain and Arakmin and curl with the conde. In or all Vasica Boringla Vasicaranda Vasicilla LBC, LBC, lay in there and Vasica Boringla. No, miss. Okay. All right. You don't want to. Okay. I'll go to the next one then. But I'm going to make. Yes. Excuse me, miss. Miss, excuse me, miss. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. Amang me. Yes, Bathing. Carpet. Carpet. Yeah. Carpet. Export. Yeah. Desert. Swimming. Garlic. Inform. Expect longer. Very good. The okay. carpenter now I'm... works. No, no. Just the... hold on a second. I'll I'll read the sentence and then you can read. The carpenter works at the site. Einstein was an expert in science. I had no transport to school after my dad crashed his car. All at the party joined in the singing. Okay, you can read now. Slowly. You can read it now. Yes. yes. The carpenter at the building site. Einstein was an Einstein. 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 Can you read that again? Einstein. Einstein. Yeah. I had no transport to school after my dad crashed his car. All at the party joined in the singing. Can you read this sentence again? Number two. Einstein. Einstein was an expert in science. Very good. Would anybody else like to read? In or all was boring last. Savukadi. Savukadi. Jerry Thurbeki, would you like to read? Vasi Kevin Pama Savkodi and Mir Panama Savkodi and Mute Pani to Vasi Kingla. Ilea Muscalia, Muscalia ABC Club. Unmute Pani to us. All right, good. Okay, the carpenter. Okay, the next one, the carpenter. Can you read this Einstein. one more time? Einstein. Einstein. Einstein was an expert in science. 
Very good. Okay, go to the next. Okay. 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 I had on transport to school after my bag has crashed his car. All at the party going in the singing. Singing. Very good. Well done. Well done. Very good. This is the same thing. Expert and very good. E and the or vowel sound, a uh, and the or vowel sound. Il a transport la parting and I in the carpal a and the or vowel meta vowel sound one the o carpenter la a a in a carpenter one the moon the vowel sound carpenter. So idila a idila a idila a. Okay, Tanga, you can go move to the next one. Okay. Okay. Um, either one would have worksheet, worksheet one day, what a homework is the thunder sheet. Either again, digraphs and done, and will actually return trend, trend letters will make one sound. Either write the rhyming words now. Rhyming, uh, rhyming words and a ore madriana satam ending ila irkavanam. If I idila pathing and a ring, idila ending sound one the ing. So idila ring and irkravadia, adatha the one the bring. Harm, farm, mister, sister, sort, sport, long, belong. Park, spark, long, song, form, storm, never, clever, jar, park. Does anybody like to like to like to do this? Urutrapuram? Yeah, yeah, you can unmute and can you read Urutrapuram? Unmute Pandring La Urutrapuram Sanjana Slowly Ring Ring Yeah Harm, harm Mr. Sister Short yeah. spot long be belong belong either your kawasing is in and is on any air sort sport sport sport, sport. sport. Okay. go to the next one park speak park one is arc and park park, park. Song, Song, long, form, 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 never, clever, 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 ja, hot. Okay, go to the next one, um, Sangha, please. Thank you. The next one is fill in the blanks with the word given below. Now, I have done the, uh, two, five words and I have got five sentences. So one of these will fit into the blanks. I will first read the words. Now, if you look at it, this, this is a two syllable word. This is a three syllables word. This is a three syllable words, two syllable words, two syllable word. Ga. Now this is A and E. Garlic. Here it is E. And here the vowel sound is O. And here the vowel sound is A. This is a three syllable. One, two, three. 
So the word is important. So together it is important. Now the next one is, it has got three vowel sounds again. A, A, A. It is permanent. So permanent. So together it reads, you read it as permanent. And the next one is, it has got I, and it has got I on the other side too. So it, has, it is a two syllable words, driving, driving. And the next one is, it has got two syllables, A and A. It is ma Cat. So it is market. There is a bus stop near the something. There is a bus stop near the market. Spelling is something when writing hard words. Spelling is important when writing hard words. When something you have to be very alert to avoid accidents. When driving, you have to be very alert to avoid accident. Drive funny condirkekula, illa concentration illam, ninga muluda irkavan, illati, you will meet with an accident, right? And the next one is something is used in cooking. Garlic is used in cooking. Now the fifth one is I am hoping to get a something job. I am hoping to get a permanent job next year. I'll come back to this one. I'll read all of the above words. Ninga in the lesson la tandrikra illa word same vasingo. Make three sentences using any of the above words. You can make a use any of the sentences. Inna the andalam paviche mundu sentence eludel manda eludunga. Matadu read and copy all the words with syllables. Syllables irkra words vadu in the render color la irkra words el manda vasichi ninga copy panunga. If a yark mandalum in the in the fill in the blanks of in the Vasiki Virupamanda, put your hands up. Somebody from Bethel Rosen? Can you unmute and read? Yeah. There is a bus stop near the market. Next one. Spelling. Is, spelling is important when writing hard words. Yeah. When driving, you have to be very alert to avoid accident. Yes, and the next one. Garlic, garlic is used in cooking. Okay, used, not used, used. Okay, and the last I, one. I am hoping to get a permanent job next year. All right, okay. Would anybody else like to read? In the screen point is Tanga. Uh, Sanjana, would you like to read? Can you unmute and read? Yes, Sanjana, would you, yes. Can you read, please? There is a bus stop near the market. Spelling is important when writing hard words. Yeah, good. When 
When driving, you have to be very alert to avoid accident. In the word, one the alert. In the this act sound. Can you say this word again? Alert. Alert. Good. Okay. The next one. Garlic is used in cooking. Good. I am, I am hoping to get a. Permanent job next year. मुल्ला तेरी माँ permanent है ना इन्ना ना तेरी माँ. No ma'am. Permanent है ना निरंतर माँ ना job. कुन्यो को कुड़े नाल की रिक्का कुड़िये job. ठीक है. Temporary. Permanent के opposite आना तो temporary. Temporary है ना maybe sometimes they will say उर माँ तो की वेल से ये लाम अलग द रंड क्लब में की वेल से ये लाम अंदर permanent है ना मार्केट Spelling is important with yeah. when writing hard words. Hard. It is hard. Hard words. Good. Hard words. Yeah. When when driving, you have to be very alert to avoid. You alert to the or word to or word alert to avoid accidents. Can you read that alert? Alert to avoid accident. Good, well done. The next one. Garlic is used in cooking. The use add and was it? Are they going to? This, in the, in the sound, when the used, can you read it? Garlic is used in cooking. Garlic is used in cooking. Good, well done. I am. I am hoping to get a permanent job next year. Okay, very good. So you know, you understand the homework. So you can actually do the homework and try and send them to me. And you have read very well today. Very, very, very well done. Give yourselves a big clap. Okay, and uh, I will see you next week. and if you have any questions you can ask me next week all right bye for this week bye bye tanga thank you very much tanga Um shall I start the speaking? What is this? Conversational class. Uh thank you Ms. Jadisha. Uh children welcome back again. Uh if you are uh ready for reading and then going off for breakaway rooms, one uh quick request is that uh please make sure your club name is written in the front of your title kila poi ungala perla ungala club name markama podungo adukapra fast and a pair individual join pandringa da club name and then ungala pair 
தயவு செய்து அதை போடுங்க ஸோ உங்களுக்கு பிரேக் அவை ரூம் போடக்கூடியதா இருக்கிறதுக்கு மென்டர்ஸ் தயவு செய்து உங்களோட பேருக்கு முன்னுக்கு மென்டர்னு போடுங்க ஸோ தட் யூ ஆர் ஐடென்டிஃபைட் ஆஸ் மென்டர் ஸோ இட்ஸ் ஈஸி ஃபார் அஸ் டு குரூப் யூ மிஸ் ஜெகிஷா ஓவர் டு யூ ஃபார் த கிளாஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் தேங்க் யூ morning and afternoon to everyone so this week we're looking at goal and ambition so i'm going to quickly run through the conversation and then i will select a few students to then um read out the answers with me uh, jadusha i think in the mars success than engada title the next next week nekra oh is it success um double check on the mail a mental mental group la mail a put the first uh, yes yadusha i think yeah, i think there were two posters i got confused okay yeah. let me get the right one up then um which is Oh yes that's right okay let me get that one All right apologies sorry guys um so this week we're looking at success goal and ambition is for next lesson right so success what success did you achieve i don't know if it matters to someone or not but passing the entrance exam to university was a huge success for me when did you get that success i got it 6 years ago it's been 2 years since i left university was there anyone who supported you My family supported me a lot. My mum prepared good meals, good meals for me while my dad helped me with hard math problems. Was it hard to get that success? It was hard for me since I wasn't good at academic subjects at all. So um it like what they mean by academic subjects is like maths, English, science those are like academic subjects what were some difficulties in achieving success the period before the exam was quite stressful hi i'm I not going... i haven't been allocated in a class uh edna ka innum orthare allocate pannile so you have to be ah. please okay 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 because thank, it was 708 okay thank all right you. thank you sorry okay where was i um okay let me just read what what was some what were some difficulties in achieving success the period before the exam was quite stressful i was so obsessed with it that i had a serious headache how did you get it i stuck to books day and night I just stopped reading and writing when I felt I knew thoroughly about the matters. How did you feel when you were successful? I was over the moon then. I was looking forward to campus life. How did your life change after that success? I had a chance to learn my favorite major at, at my desired university and then got a high paying job in an in an active working in, environment. what is your key to success i don't particularly have any key to success just work hard and try your best everything good will come to you right so let's quickly there's 2 4 6 8 9 so i'll give three each for a child to read out the answers can i have um 
I don't know how to pronounce this name. Um, it says E C Jerry. Are you able to unmute your audio, E C Jerry? Let's try um, Muscalia EC. Guys, now we are going to order and meet. But you are not allowed to class delay. You are um, having me unmuted. Okay, um, call on the next one, Yadusha. Yeah, Tilly, really unmute Panika the clam. Betty, see, Sanjay, unmute Panama. <coughs> Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so the first question, what success did you achieve? I don't know if it matters to someone or not, but pacing the entrance exam to university was a huge success for me. Okay. So this word is passing. Did you hear the ring la? Passing. The second question, when did you get that success? I got it six years ago. It's been two years since I left university. Good. And then the last one for you, was there anyone who supported you? My family support me a lot. My mom prepared good meals for me while... My dad helped me with heart mouth problems. Math problems. Sorry, math problems. Good, well done. Can I have Tillery next? No, would lay in there. Okay, Tillery, unmute Panitinam Tanga. No, would we could be noted next time? Okay. Was it hard to get that success? It was hard for me uh, since since wasn't good. I wasn't good at uh, academic. Ac academic subjects uh, at all. Next one. What were some difficulties in achieving success? The, the period before the exam was quite, quite stressful. I was so uh, upset with it that I had a seri serious attack. And the last one. How did you get it? I I stuck to books day and night. I just stopped reading and write, writing when I uh, fell new softly about the matters. Well done. Um. Nor would I think so. Yes, Miss. Um. um oh, okay, I'm new to Okay. How did you feel when you were successful? I was over the moon then. I was looking forward to campus life. Good. Next one. How did you how did your life change after that success? I had the chance to learn my favorite 
major at my deserted university and then got her life paying job in an active working informant can you say in in, in the word therapy you are saying la desperate desired 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 and then this word environment 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 what is the key to your success i don't it but participate they have any key to success just work hard and try your best everything good will come to you okay, so this word here particularly part particularly part clearly and then custom one word then okay try and I'll, i'll break it down for you par par tick tick killer killer lee the same person particularly good well done thank you okay. thank you miss you welcome I think we can go into the breakout rooms now. Are you ready? Um, yeah, Berksman, are you ready for the groups? Just one minute. Yeah, Uncle. You ready? So we'll uh, uh, we want to make any announcements when they go to the breakout rooms. Yeah, uh, over to Premini and Pia, Uncle. Thank you. Uh